Hello everyone, welcome to another Excel chat walkthrough video. I'm your host, Kevin Kelly, and today we're going to be talking about learning how to group numbers using VLOOKUP. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, as you can see in my Excel file here, I can zoom in on this a little bit for you guys. Uh, I have a list of names, birthdays, ages, uh, and what I'm trying to do here is look up each person's individual age uh, by, the, by the number, so by the age of 52, and I'm going to look up in this little table to the side here uh, what category it falls under. So what should I group them as? 0 to 20, 21 to 40, 41 to 60, or 60 plus? Uh, and we can do this using VLOOKUP. Uh, now, we've done VLOOKUP videos in the past, so I'll just kind of walk through this formula with you guys. Uh, so obviously, equals V uh, lookup. And see, now it's asking for my lookup value. So which value do I, do I want to look up in the other table? Which one do I want to reference? Uh, so in this case, it's going to be uh, D5, which is uh, Miss Jeanette's age. Now it's asking for the table array. And now the table array is going to be right over here. So it's going to be G5 through H8. Now remember what we want to do here is anchor this because this is the table we're going to be referring to. So I'm going to go ahead and anchor um, both G5 and H8. Just make sure that we're always referring to that same table. I'll show you why in a second. Uh, now it's asking for the column index. What it means uh, is which column is it scanning in our table. So in this case, it would be column number two or the age column, or excuse me, the group column, column number two. Uh, and last, it's asking for true or false, and we're going to do true for an approximate match uh, because we're using ranges. And we'll hit close here. And as you can see, what Excel has done is taken uh, – the VLOOKUP formula that I gave in said, okay, Jeanette, she's 52, she's in the age group of 41 to 60. And the way that we do this is we can just drag it down right here, get your black cross, bring it all the way down, and it'll fill it in accordingly. So again, 41 to 60, 41 to 60, 0 to 20, 41 to 60, 60 plus, 41 to 60, and 0 to 20. The reason that we anchored it, remember, uh, was because had we not, we'd get a bunch of uh, not reference cells here, so they wouldn't know what to do because there's no values here. So we had to anchor it to this table right here. Uh, so with that being said, this has been Learn How to Group Numbers with VLOOKUP. Pretty simple formula, but also very useful. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel Chat.